All right, y'all, buckle up for this munchy menu. We're doing infused Korean barbecue fried ribs. So let's get started with this one. So I'm going to show you guys uh, quickly how I smoked my ribs and the Korean barbecue sauce, how to make that. So I got a spare rib that I rinsed off and packed completely dry. Then I added some of my Chef Nelly's smoked out sweet chili lime seasoning. That is just so good. Then I smoked my ribs on my Traeger for three hours and they turned out beautifully. Look at this. So now let's make our infused Korean barbecue sauce. Here's all the ingredients that we're going to need and I'm going to walk you through everything. So let's go. So in a saucepan on medium high heat, you're going to get your brown sugar, soy sauce, chili paste, rice vinegar, sesame oil, I don't know about y'all, but I love the smell of sesame oil. Now I'm gonna take some of my Simply High Extracts infused olive oil and add some of that into the mixture. Water and fresh ginger, that is key, fresh. Black pepper and fresh minced garlic. Now we're going to mix all this together, bring it to a boil, and then cut it down to a simmer and we're going to mix cornstarch and water together to make a slurry and stir that into the sauce. It'll thicken it up a bit. You don't want it too thick. Now let's get back to the fun part, deep frying these ribs. I've got my Simply High Extract CBD olive oil. I've got a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, and then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my Chef Nelly's Anytime Seasoning. Be sure to get you some of that seasoning. And these are my smoke ribs that I let completely cool down. And you'll want them completely cool because they'll just coat better in the batter. So I'm gonna batter them in the flour and cornstarch, then dip them in an egg wash. And I just put egg and milk, and then we're going to dip it back into the cornstarch flour mixture. So like a double dip is what we'll do here. So now I'm just going to fry the ribs at 350 degrees for five to six minutes. And look at how golden brown they are. Then we're just gonna layer on that Korean barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness. I paired these ribs with creamy ginger mashed potatoes and those were to die for as well. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment for more awesome munchy menu favorites like this.